welcome to The Artful Chef. Today we are talking about watercolor pencils. So um, I have a classroom set of watercolor pencils here with some small brushes. Uh, I will link my favorite ones in the description for Amazon, but this is just an inexpensive set you can buy at Walmart easily. But uh, watercolors are very versatile. You can get some really beautiful artwork out of watercolor pencils. So I'm gonna show you a few techniques today on how you can use these and how you can create art with them. Let's get started. So I'm gonna show you how, can, how you can use these watercolor pencils um, with eight different techniques. There are more techniques than that, but we're just gonna talk about eight of them today. So if you need to divide your paper up into squares to make it easier for you, you can. The first one that I'm going to do is a dry on dry technique. And what I mean by that is I'm going to take a dry colored pencil and I'm going to color on it on the paper with the dry colored pencil. Just like it were a regular colored pencil. Then I'm going to take my dry pencil and I'm going to get my brush a little wet. And all I'm going to do is brush over my pencil with some water. And you see how nicely it blends when you do that. So this is the dry on dry technique. Now we're going to do a one color gradient. I'm going to go with, let's say, purple. So I'm just going to color my purple here. And when I say gradient, what I want to do is I want to extend this purple out past it to make it look like a lighter purple. So you will get your brush wet. And as you lift this pigment and you move it out, you see that it fades as it goes out away from where the color is. So that's a one color gradient. Now I'm going to blend. So let's do a red and a yellow. We're gonna make orange. So I'm going to color fairly heavy with each of these colors. And what I want to do is I want to drag that pigment into the center to make a gradient uh, or a blend of these two colors. So I want to create orange. So as you work, always work from your um, lightest color in when you're trying to make a new color. So I washed out my brush because I started opposite, but you would start from the yellow and work your way in to be able to do that nice blend. Next, we're going to do a two color gradient. Blend red and blue to make a purple. So because it's a gradient, we want it to gradually change from one color to another. So I have left a larger space here than what I did when I was doing blending. So after you get your color down, you're gonna drag that pigment here to the middle to this grade, create this gradient. We're gonna take this pigment to the middle and then we're just going to wash over it a little bit so we have a gradient from our blue to our red. This next one that we're going to going to do is a dry on wet. So if you get your paper wet first 
and you take a dry pencil and you color over that wet area, you will see that the pencil will start to blend easily in those wet areas. This next one is going to be a pigment on brush technique. So to get an intense color with whatever it is that you, whatever color you're trying to use, you can take a wet brush and just brush it on the tip of your watercolor pencil and paint with it that way. So you get a much more intense color when you take it straight from the brush than you would if you were coloring with it. So it works much more like as if you were using an actual watercolor pad. The next technique is going to be a double load. We're just going to paint onto one side with a green. And we're going to paint on the other side with the purple. So we have both colors on here. Make sure I have a good saturation. And then let's try. That's much better. So that's my double load. That's the double load. The next thing that we're going to do is a paint splatter. So we're going to use our, our wet paintbrush. Okay, so I have it with water on it. I'm just gonna rub it across the tip of this purple pencil. And then we're going to splatter. If you tap it on something hard, even if it's the pencil itself, it works very well to create that splatter effect. All right, the next technique I want to show you is a wet on dry. So what I mean by that is we're going to wet this color, this watercolor pencil. We're just going to dip it in some water. Now I don't recommend using this technique a lot just because it does use up your pencil quite quickly, but if your pencil lead is wet and you color on dry paper, it works much like this pigment on your brush where you're gonna get a more intense color. Now you will have to wet it often because it does dry out as you work with it, but once you get your area that you're working with fairly wet, it does end up with a very nice coverage on your pencil. So that is our wet on dry. So I'm gonna show you one bonus technique that um, I don't use often, but it is a really unique little technique. Um, but I don't use it a lot just because it uses up your, your pencil. So if you take a pair of scissors, we're gonna do a shaving technique. So there's a couple of ways that you could do it. You could shave onto your paper and then wet it which I'm gonna show you both of these. The other one would be to wet your paper first and then put your shavings onto it. So I'm gonna show you the dry first. So you're just gonna brush the blade of your scissors across your paper. So right now we have dry pigment on the paper. If I go in and I touch that pigment with some water, you will notice that it will get wet now it will, if you rub your brush across it, blend. And if you don't want it to look blended, that's where the other technique comes in play. So if you get your paper wet first, and then you shave onto your wet paper, it will stick to the wet area, but it won't blend unless you hit it with your wet paintbrush. So these are just some ways that you can use watercolor pencils. Thank you for joining me today to learn a little bit about watercolor pencils. I hope you give that a try at home. And until next time, you guys have a great day.